Okay, here's one thing I've been working on lately. Uh, I made a little cheap 12Q firing system. Uh, it's actually got some really good range, and I'm going to test it later. I think it can go well over 600 feet. Uh, I built it as cheap as I could, you know. I just used the actual toolbox tray to put the speaker terminals in, and I just marked them with permanent marker. And I got this uh, switch at AutoZone here. Uh, the board I got like $18 from eBay and uh, I just I didn't make a diagram I just uh, planned it all out in my head and went along I found that the uh, solid core wire works really well with these boards it's really easy to get two solid core ends into one of those terminals and I put spades on all the speaker terminals just to make it easier and then my battery uh, I went with two 6 volts and wired them in series to get my 12 volts out of it and the 6 volts were significantly thinner so I could fit them down in there. Uh, the 12 volt batteries I wouldn't have enough room to get everything put back together and close the lid. But that was just something kind of fun that I did and that's the, I don't know, precursor if you will to uh, this next firing system that I'm working on here. Um, this is going to be a 32Q. That's not actually blue, it's it's white acrylic, it's a protective coating on there, so all those lines will come off, and it'll be white. But uh, this will actually have uh, continuity LEDs, um, it's going to be four banks of eight cues with a board very similar to what's in that uh, firing system right there. It'll have a key switch and, uh, you know, test mode and all that, so this will be closer to a real firing system. Oh, here's some parts for, here's the battery that I want to use for it. Um, and I do have some parts for a wired system that I may eventually build. But the wired system, I want that to be a nice, solid, uh, professional style system. Um, so there's a couple things I've been working on. I got some other projects, hold on. I got a bunch of uh, high density polyethylene tubes from Adiracks.com. Uh, it turned out to be the cheapest place that I could get tubes from. I got a box of 15s. Let's see, I got like 36 15s and uh, 48 12s. And uh, I've been busy building some racks here. Alright, so there's the design I'm going with for the 15s and there's the design I'm going with for the 12s uh, now the 15s I put spacers between the last 2x3 and the last tube I spacered that gap right there on the 15 inch racks but on the 12s I didn't do that I, uh, I just put the tubes right next to the 2x3 uh, I don't know the 12s are actually just gonna have you know ball shells and stuff like that. The 15s are for multi-brakes, which I don't like, and canisters, mostly canisters. Um, the top rails are plywood. Uh, the bottom rails are OSB. Uh, those bottom rails are right at the, just below the plug line, and then the spacers actually come just a little bit higher than the plug line, but I think they'll be okay. And of course I have each tube uh, spaced uh, so I made them into six shot racks uh, You know the kits are sold in multiples of six usually anyway, so like uh, you know, I'll take uh, Say four six shot racks and I'll get them Fanned out and that'll be a, a box of shells right there four sixes. That'll be 24 and I'm gonna have uh, a lot of racks the 15s really look big you know uh, if you have a bunch of these racks and you're setting up somewhere somebody might mistake you for a pro